Hey guys, Matt from Crank Engineering. And in the last video, we made this tucking fork to help us shrink the edges of metal and form compound curves. And I'm gonna show you another way and another thing you can make in your own shop to help you shrink metal. Let's get onto the bench. Okay, in the other video, you would have seen me using these pieces of wood to help me shape uh, aluminium sheet and I just want to explain a little bit about what's going on here. So uh, traditionally you would you'd call these a shrinking stump and you'd literally have a big chunk of wood on a stump and you just hollow out a section of that to help you with shrinking metal. Now I don't have access to big chunks of wood like that, big stumps, and you really need something, you know, probably 15 inches or so in diameter, 450 mil, but I've got some chunks of wood that I've laminated together and this is a piece of really hard wood which I'd been planning to use for a die for something else but never turned out. And I've just cut bowls into these chunks of timber. Now I've done three different ones here. Uh, this was the first, this was the second, this was the third. And it turns out this particular one works best in terms of the size, works best for what I do with motorcycles. Now if you're working on car panels, you probably need a bigger bowl and you could fabricate that in other ways, but you can make these quite simply at home with a chunk of wood and a circular saw. So we're gonna make another one, and I'm gonna make a bowl a little bit larger than this one, and we'll see if the bigger one helps even more. So we're gonna go take the saw and the GoPro outside because this is gonna generate a ton of dust, and uh, I don't really want it all over the shop, so let's head outside. So I've finished all the cuts that we want to do, and they're not identical in every location, but they'll blend out. So the next step is to remove the majority of this waste. I'm just going to use a carpenter's chisel to chisel it out. And then we're going to use a flap wheel on an angle grinder to get the final smooth surface like you've seen in the other one. So let's not get all this waste first. Okay, that'll be sufficient for the chisel work. And now I'm gonna head back outside because this is gonna generate a whole lot more dust. Use a flap disc on an angle grinder and just sand all this really smooth. So let's check that out.
Okay, finished up, sanded our bowl. Uh, I could probably go over this with some hand sanding, but I'm gonna just do a demo first. Uh, the reason you do that is if there's any uh, dents or anything in here, you don't want them transferred to your metal, so you really want that as smooth as possible. Uh, and if you're doing this with an angle grinder like I did, make sure you wear a dust mask because this dust is gone everywhere. So um, it's probably a little bit ratty in some of these corners, but I really couldn't see what was going on because there was so much dust. So that's my excuse and I'm gonna stick to it. So uh, let's get a bench and have a crack at shrinking some metal with this little bowl.